Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, 7th of May. Ridiculous, uh, ridiculous price action yesterday in stocks. This is the five minute chart. This is the last piece of news on tariffs uh, at 9.55 p.m. last night it took us all the way from 32 down to 08 um, the whole day ended up being sort of indecisively bearish I don't know what to say I mean ridiculous we kind of got out of jail free with the news itself so for that we're thankful uh, but it certainly looked pretty bad down at uh, 2883 and it was trading off for it all day and then the last three hours all the way back up to 40 uh, as we said yesterday if it got above 10 it's a cut and what are you going to do just have to wait now uh, next sort of bearish moment is through 2880 very very difficult to trade that kind of a day 60 handles or 70 handles down 30 handle gap gap fill and then that five minute bar 30 handles lower tough tough we'll be thankful we made some dough off of it uh we're still a little bit jaded and pissed uh that we're not short at the moment and it didn't fall through but it's just a game of headlines now so if you're quick on the headlines um, stick with it otherwise wait for the technicals to confirm 2880 is our next point Let's look at Aussie RBA was much more hawkish than people thought this caught a lot of people short here we are if you're short you need to cut now uh, we're square we're not going to get long here but there'll certainly be um, this looks like it's certainly going to push above 70 70 for at least a peak um, and the case for being short is basically the China case and dovish R RBA RBA is less dovish so now the case, the story is only half, half what it used to be. So got to be careful here. What else? Cable, still relatively big, but also still just in the middle. Not a ton to do there. Um, we do have Kunlif speaking today. Um, not much to say in cable really dollar yen still on its knees this is just definitely a sell on rally didn't come close to filling that gap um, any chance you get to sell dollar yen between 110.80 and 111 you should take that chance this sucker looks like it's trending lower Euro yen not doing too much, hasn't filled the gap. It kind of feels like it wants to fill the gap now. We printed this uh, 123.40, which now could act as some massive double bottom. We made it through this 123.68 low, but did not sustain. This was printed in the madness in Asia last night, post uh, S&P waterfall lower. Market short euro yen. Um, so there could be a squeeze similar to what's going on in the Aussie in the euro yen. Aussie yen filled that gap on the less dovish RBA. In general, we're just taking a deep breath here. We did a lot of trading yesterday and 
yeah, we made some money, but it didn't really follow through the way we wanted it to. And so today we're just reassessing all of this. Looks like more squeezes are ahead. The one trending pair is dollar yen. Dollar yen looks like it's still set to go lower. So the plan today will be to sell this on any sort of gap fill above. Oil is marginally bid. Um, yesterday we had the 60.05 low. We kind of bullish engulfed, but we're sort of bid on the lower end of the range here. Again, this all points to squeeze time. Uh, looks like we're going to squeeze some of these risk off shorts still. But we're just basically at the mercy of tweets from Donald Trump and company. As far as the calendar is concerned, just looking at it now, looks pretty weak. German factory orders, nobody cares. Like we said, Kunliff is speaking at 10. He's from the BOE. Uh and really nothing out in the US worth mentioning. Jolts, job openings, nobody cares. A couple of Fed speakers. Quarles is speaking today, end of the day. Um, and then we have RBNZ tonight. So Kiwi is going to move tonight. We'll talk about that more on Twitter uh, as we get closer to the time. Looks like it's going to be a quiet, quiet morning for us as far as trading is concerned. We're just going to be patient, uh, reassess what's going on, and try and get our head around the future of this trade negotiation between China and the U.S. Good luck out, good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow.